All right, here's another example of a polynomial. And we want to find the fully factored form given a 0 at negative 2. So if the 0 is at negative 2, then I can start right away by doing synthetic division. And I'm going to list my coefficients like such. Draw a line, bring down the 2, and start the synthetic division. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. When I add them up, I get negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. When I add them up, I get negative 5. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. When I add them up, I get 0. And I expected to get 0 because I was told that negative 2 is a factor. So what I have, what I'm left here with now is negative 5 minus 3x, 2x squared. So this is my resulting polynomial. And so now I need to solve this. And I'm going to set it equal to 0. And I'm going to use my program, because it's a quadratic. So a is 2, b is negative 3, c is negative 5. When I run that through my program, I get x is 2 and a half and negative 1. So now I'm ready to make my factors. So f of x equals, well my first factor I'm going to use is this one right up here. So I have x plus 2. And then my second factor I'm going to use is x plus 1. And then the last one is x minus 2.5. And this is just a little unsettling because there's a decimal in there. Let me show you what to do with that decimal. So take your x equals 2.5 over to the side. Do this for any of them that you get a uh, fraction or a decimal for. And you want to you want to set this equal to 0 or have it equal 0 eventually. So I'm going to change this, first of all, into a fraction. So 2 and a half, um, I can rewrite that as 5 over 2, right? 5 over 2, that's the same as 2 and a half. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And I want it to equal 0, so I have to keep going and subtract 5 from each side. So I have 2x minus 5. So what I can do now is I can replace this last factor with 2x minus 5. And I'm just going to recopy the other factors right there. And I like this version because if I look at my original polynomial and I see the leading coefficient is 2. But when I look right here at this polynomial, if I were to multiply each of the first terms together, x times x times x, well, that's going to give me 1x cubed, so to speak. And that's not my leading coefficient. My leading coefficient is hidden, buried in this 2 and a half. So when I do this process over here, to change it into 2x minus 5. Now, if I were to figure out my leading coefficient, x times x times 2x, well, that would result in 2x cubed. So there's my 2. That's the same as my leading coefficient up here. They should match. So that's how you do find a fully factored form given one of the zeros and then this shows you how you can turn that uh, decimal or fraction into a factor that will give you the correct leading coefficient.